won't believe me, but it was a big tractor tread. They got no shame, they should be blamed. Making bread on the day. The Mighty Mighty has died. Author, poet, playwright, Calypsonian, comedian and scholar Michael Oberton is the latest cultural exponent of standing to pass on. Former director of the Folk Research Center, Hilary LaForce, an office also held by the late Oberton, says Senusha has lost a remarkable exemplar. Oberton's unassuming mild-mannered disposition belied his immeasurable contribution to the advancement of St. Lucia arts and culture. A very talented gentleman, a well-rounded gentleman, um, as one would, if one would, if she knew him. Very humble, always had a very pleasant smile, a model father, a model husband. Um, but in the area of culture, um, one would know that he was once the director of culture in St. Lucia. He has um, written plays. He was once a comedian. Uh, we remember him as a Calypsonian, his famous was Calypso, Making Bread and the Dead. Uh, he also won the independence of uh, Calypso King in 1979. As I turn around, in me nice coffin, I wish I was not Anglican. Oberton was also both a performing artiste and scholar who explored the historical arc of the socio-economic evolution of the island. His magnum opus, a historical novel called Negmawa Freedom Fighter, recounts the period on St. Lucia surrounding the Brigands' War of the late 18th century when slaves fought for liberation. During my stint at the FRC, inviting him to lecture to our students, uh, we used to have um, what we call cultural education for students, particularly those who are uh, sitting common entrance. And um, during Creole Heritage Month, we also had his lectures, and he also came and lectured on the uh, the brigands. All right. Uh, in terms of his uh, talent as a comedian, <laughs> some of us would remember he doing that after the bit, um, almost the same style as uh, with um, Paul King's Douglas. I used to look forward to hearing those. And uh, as a Calypsonian, he also had a very good album with one King Barry. Lafour says the paragon of uprightness deserves greater recognition in the pantheon of all-time cultural luminaries of St. Lucia. I would hope that um, in the, when the, the history of St. Lucia is written in the in days to come, that uh, people like um, Michael Oberton will feature prominently in that history book. Uh, along with people like Cess and Descartes and all the cultural heroes that um, the FRC has honored over the years. And uh, we intend to continue uh, honoring him, especially at the FRC, at the level of the FRC, and for our, our students, our young people in particular, to uh, remember that we've had people who have um, faced the trail, as we say. He should hold the second boss. Cosh the second boss. Boss the second boss, I say. Michael Mighty Mighty Oberton was also a devout Roman Catholic. He was 72 years old. The ball the second boss, he have too much say. Colby DeVoe, HTS News Force.